creeps into my dreams Wakes me into sweaty sheets Abandons me when nights die out What can I do? What can I do? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and as you can see from my wonderful intro, I am no longer in Canada anymore. I've traveled all the way to New York to come see my wonderful friend, the DIY Huntress, Miss Sam. Hi, friends. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> this is huge for us. We've been online friends for quite some time, probably two two years. Probably two years. Two years. It's like one of those things. Like your parents tell you not to meet friends on the internet, but like here we are. I'm here for a very special project. I'm going to be helping Sam with a live edge dining table, but we're going to be welding. Sure are. Danny's Sam. gonna be a natural. I know it. <laughs> Sam's gonna teach me how to weld, and it's gonna be great. Bugs! You can't weld with such a little flame. Let's hope we make it to Thanksgiving. But either way, as always, let's get into it, editor. Roll the tape. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one we nailed it. I mean, that's good. That's great. So to start this industrial live edge table project, first Sam and I had to get our beautiful spalted maple live edge slab into the workshop and ready for cutting. It was pretty heavy, I'm not gonna lie, but basically it offered a pre-turkey eating workout for us. <gasps> I'm like, just feeling it, you know. What a beautiful piece of spalted maple, my friends, wow. I like this, this is like, it's like a spooky table. Wizard of Oz, the trees. And then the guys that throw the crab apples. What do you think you're doing? My dad said I should put um, a garbage can under here so that when we're done eating at the dining table, we could just <laughs> <laughs> all the trash. What Sam and I are about to do is use the track saw, which I'm very excited about because I've seen her track saw and I know what that looks like and it's amazing. I'm going to then steal it and bring it home with me on the plane. And we're gonna chop this bad boy in half and then we're gonna have a half lobster looking table and then an actual nice looking table. I wish I owned that many clamps. Also, this, this is what I need. Also, this is what I need. Also, this is what I need. Hi. We did eventually get this project on the road using Sam's fancy Festool track saw. And we made two passes plunging the saw at different depths because this slab was thick, friends. And eventually we finished it off by hand with a cordless that could plunge the full depth. It was pretty handy having two people to take over the cutting from each side. So go team DIY. We got a lobster. Lobster too. Time for lobster dinner. Oh, hi. Oh, I love you. We love the workshop. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, how oh, well, little man. Oh, this is Titan for anyone who doesn't know. He makes every project take 10 times longer. Papa Joe. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? Okay, so now that we have one side gone, we have like a mermaid looking tabletop. We're gonna square this side up and make this side look snazzy as well. Snazzy, sh Not Sam, snazzy. Sam snazzy table. <laughs> you know what it's time for? What is it time for, Sam? Sanding. It's a sanding party! Lobster dance! <laughs> Wait, this is actually the crab dance. That's the lobster. This, like, 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 this would be a lobster. Like waxing on, waxing off, and like we're basically just standing. Okay, I'll lobster, you crab. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so 
So we made the decision to hand plane a few sections on the sides just to help even out the top. Then while Sam was sanding down the live edge using her angle grinder, I worked through the grits with the hand sander on the top. To finish off the day, we prepped the edges for an epoxy pour with a strong grip tape that was hit with a torch after applying it on the wood. Just to shrink the tape down and make it a really nice tight seal. This was actually a really cool technique that Sam taught me and uh, now I'm passing it along to you. For reference, this live edge slab had some larger unique holes under the board that were hard to tape off. So for us to properly do a table pour on the top with epoxy, we first had to turn the table upside down and do a first pour to fill in the holes underneath. To do this, we were using Moss Tabletop Clear Epoxy that includes your usual part A and part B and mixed it with some black pigment to give it some color. All right, ready? Here's hoping the tape worked. Just gotta fill in all those cracks. It worked! Yay! <laughs> Yay, we did something right! Wow! Good morning, friends. Brand new day, new attitude, new coffees. New Sam and Danny. Actually, we're matching today. That's oh, so hi, cute. Twin. <laughs> we're so cute. Did we just become best friends? Yep. We got metal in front of us because we need to cut metal today. We're gonna cut the legs for the table and then we're gonna weld them. And while I'm welding, you're gonna sand. I feel like I'm getting the short end of the deal, but I'll take it. I'm very excited. Me too. Let's go. Uh, can I drink my coffee first? Yes. Okay. Mandatory. <laughs> These square metal bars are going to eventually be the legs on Sam's new tabletop, but first we needed to measure and cut them down using a metal saw blade. I mean, look at that saw cut. It just cuts like butter. It's we good. made sparks fly. Ooh. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so you just you explained it so well. Just do oh, it. Okay. In order um, to make a in weld. In order to make a weld, the weld needs a clean surface to stick to. So in order to do that, Danny is going to use this, this fancy guy. flap disc, which is basically just an abrasive sanding pad. So okay. the flap disc is gonna sand away some of the grossness, technical term, so that the weld has something to stick to later. Okay, friends, I'm so excited because we are about to start welding. Um, nervous? A little but more excited than nervous. So excited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Sam to do the first weld. She's gonna kind of show me the ropes. We're doing a MIG weld for anyone who's curious. So we have it set up here. So we're gonna get going and uh, now we get to go weld. <laughs> Got new levels and new devils out the wazoo. Ain't no worries, life gets better when you find you. And if you mind you, peace will abide and hide you until it's time to start anew. Learning how to weld could literally be its own video, so I'm not gonna be breaking down this process step by step, but Sam does do a great breakdown on her first Live Edge table build she made for her parents, and I will make sure to link them below. But I will say this, Sam was a great teacher. Welding is definitely one of those processes that does take time to perfect. Needless to say, my first weld was questionable at best. Okay, so my first weld just happened, and on a scale of one to 10 on like doing a weld well, I would say I'm probably about a one. I'd give you like at least a two. Oh my god, that's so kind. <laughs> a grinder and paint makes you the welder you ain't. That's what people tell me. So That is right. So just don't judge me. It's my first time, but it's going to get better. It's going to look great. Honestly, Sam wasn't wrong. A grinder can fix a lot, which was kind of my saving grace, but she did eventually leave me alone to finish the other side and weld the other table legs. And I gotta say, my weld technique definitely increased as my confidence built up. And if there's anything to say about welding for the first time, it fills you with like this feeling of bad assery. That's not even a word, but today it is because I just felt like I was on cloud nine. And uh, I gotta say, if you haven't tried it, you gotta do this. Look at that, look at that.
that. I am not a pro, but I don't think that's too bad. I call that a DIY skill in progress. And while I finished up the welds, as Sam got going on drilling out holes in the flat metal pieces so we could secure the tops to the table later. I am just loving this teamwork. And to finish off all the metal pieces, we cleaned it up with acetone and then worked together to weld the flat metal tops to the legs. Burn, baby, burn. Friends, it was a long day. Although maybe the filming did not show it, it was a long day. A long day of great DIYing. Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, I just would like to show where the good welds were. Look at that. Look at that. You're hired. Thanks. Look, I did a good job. I did a thing. But our batteries keep dying, so we can't keep using the grinder. So we're giving up on that until tomorrow. What we are going to do is bring in the wood slab, and we're going to do epoxy on the other side of the table now that Sam did all of the sanding on the top side. It's literally like, like just rinse and repeat. I feel like a pro. You are a pro. I should come here more often. Like, say more. I love you. You're beautiful. You're a pro. You're the okay, best. The funniest person I know. Should I keep going? Yes. <laughs> Good morning, DOA friends. Uh, look at the table, looks great. All that epoxy dried, check that out. Let me turn this around. Look at that, all this is dry. It is ready to be sanded down. We have the legs right there that need to be grinded today, but they're looking great. We are going to be, we have this tent set up back here. Sam being American, taking Thanksgiving very seriously. Their family has a tent. We're gonna use the tent and we're gonna grind all the metal in here. <laughs> and then we're gonna start sanding the tabletop, so it's gonna be great. Let's get started. <laughs> yes! I wanted to share something really cool that Sam learned from her dad. It's called the dad hack. We're gonna call it the DIY dad hack, and I'm all for DIY dad hacks. So what did you have? This is called Bond Bondo. Bondo. It's a two-part hardener. Well, this is the wood filler one, but they make one for automotive use as well. So we mixed up two parts here, filled in all of the welds that have pockets in it. Basically, Danny's bad welding is fixed with Bondo. It's only a bad weld if it falls apart and it has not fallen apart. So we're just sticking it on all the edges and then it's just gonna bond and then we just kind of sand it away and... Yeah, and then we prime, we paint, and we have a dining table. All right, let's put some Bondo on. So the game is, we have two of these things, they're offset. We have this in the way, and the goal, hit the cup off the stick. Well, <laughs> Come on, do it. You, you won't do it. Ah! I play spoiler, I played softball in high school, so. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. <laughs> okay, this knocks the cup off. One more chance. <laughs> <laughs> gets it worked out. <laughs> Moving on from that, we prime the metal using Rust-Oleum's filler primer to give the legs a nice base before spraying it with Rust-Oleum's satin protective enamel in the color black. Moving the project back inside the shop, we prep the slab for sanding. And here's a fun hack I've learned from experts over time. When you have a big piece like this, use chalk to draw lines down the slab so that you always know which areas you covered when you start sanding the board down. I mean, we made a mermaid tail, I know but you get the point. <laughs> and using that good old DIY teamwork we've established, we got going on sanding both sides, working through the grits to make that tabletop super smooth as butter. We're getting close to the finish line, folks, and starting on the bottom of the table first, we were using a finish called Rubio Monaco. It's an oil-based finish that includes an accelerator that you add to the finish mixed in a three to one ratio. And this basically brings all that beautiful color
color out of your wood while also leaving it with a hard top coat to protect it and keep it durable. I love that you really didn't need a lot of it to get the job done. We were spreading it with a flat edge and a little goes a long way. But look at that color though. This maple was really starting to shine and what a beautiful slab. We just spread some Rubio and grooved to some beets and there's nothing better than that. And before we flipped, it was finally time to add those DIY welded black legs onto the slab, simply making the holes, drilling them out and adding threaded inserts with wood adhesive. These threaded inserts are really great because over time your wood will move and expand and these inserts really help keep the screws in place and your board from splitting. We also added some plastic table leg inserts to the bottom, closes the holes and it protects your floors. Okay, so like now we have to turn this thing over. Fudge. Well, 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 how the turntables Get it in the house. I am so excited and I'm so excited that the I'm first so piece of furniture in my house is one that we made together. <laughs> oh my god, it's so <laughs> cute and we look like twinsies right now. We decided that we're gonna have a band and we're gonna call ourselves the Genuine Maples. But honestly, thank you so much for having me down here, letting me build this table with you. Like, I, I just had the best time. Legitimately think we were separated at birth. <laughs> but I'm this so was sad. so much fun. Yes. I am so excited yeah. that we did this. I can't wait for the dining room to be done. I can't wait for that vision that we come up with to come to life as well. Yes, which by the way, so we filmed this video, this project on my channel, but over on your channel, we're gonna be doing some like design planning for this space, this wall, and it's going to be very exciting. So stay tuned for the DIY Hunters channel. I will link her down below. If you do not follow her, go subscribe. Cause you have a brand new house, so you're gonna have like a bajillion projects. I'm so jealous. I cannot wait. There's so, so much jealous. room for activities and projects. Maybe we should do the guest room first. Okay, it's gonna be Danny's room for the guest room. And of course, thank you to all of my patrons for your continued love and support. You guys are amazing. And as always, my friends, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Woo! Bye-bye.